gonna do a quick mail day video. I almost wasn't gonna do this, but I think the item in here is a pretty interesting super card. And I think we have some Atari stuff in this box. This one's kind of heavy. Oh, wow. Well, this is packaged really good. Start off with these right here. Atari, 400, Atari 800 modules. So right here we have 34K of, um, no. Here we have, I was going to say 34, but we got 24K of RAM with these two. And then this operating system. So check out the so check these out. Look at all these configurations. Let me zoom in here. Which setup do we have? We actually have this. So this shows you how to put them, plug them into your Atari 800. You put the, you put the 10K in front, and behind it you put the 16, and behind that you put the 8. But but you need the operating, you need this. I'm gonna sell them separately, but do it. I think I'm just gonna sell them as a group. I'll probably just, uh, some, I gotta go test them. I'll probably just put them as a group on uh, eBay. Oh man, we gotta, one thing I do not collect are two sets. Let's open these up here in a minute. See if there's any originals. Okay, there's some original cassettes there. And of course, cartridges. Oh, gosh, why not? I have quite a few of these. Dollar ninety-nine. I have quite a few of these for sale. Or I have. But I don't think it was the case. That one with the manual. There's the manual down there. I don't know how common this is, but these do not sell for very much money. I'm impressed with the wrapping job from our Steve's Real World channel. We just reviewed these, so. That's in, the, that's in the link below from our review channel with Leanne. We're all right off the top. This cartridge is very uncommon. This might be why I bought this. Oh, I should say, I did pay less than $100 for all this. I can say that, which, even with shipping, I think shipping was like $20, so. Oh, not real common. I know I saw a couple basic cartridges in there. And normally, the basic cartridges are pretty popular. What am I going to do with with four of these? Usually I, I could sell these for up to $20, but with four of them, I'm going to have to like really lower the price down to kind of move those suckers out after we test them. Try right here. And this will come in. Oh no, I got five of them. Someone pay a dollar for these? Like a, Probably like a thrift store price tag. Never a fan of this Ben Acre series. Well, I do like the wrapping job here. That was pretty nice. Try it, artist. That's cool. Oh, we got some games here. There's like some $10 games here. I hope I was just going to say, if we don't have any more basic, <laughs> two more basic. I'm going to have the corner of the market on the basic cartridges. I guess I'm going to. Oh, what? How many do I got in here? Eight, nine? I'm going to have to lower these to like $9.99 for the Atari Basics, just to kind of move them out. So let's check out what kind of cassettes we have. Whoa, Frogger. I don't have a way to test these. So what I'll do... I'm going to try to grab it. Oh, I have had these before. Intro. Cannon Climber. Like, I'm going to set these all up and since I don't need these, I'll set these up in one big lot on eBay. Maybe I'll set all of them up for like $9.99 and just whatever they sell for, they sell for. I'm lucky if I get that. Uh, some, these are just some um, personal cassettes with games on there. Oh, Space Invaders. Okay, that's nice. Zaxxon Space Invaders. Those are nice. Spelling. Kingdom, that sounds like a fun game. Well, maybe some of these have some value. I don't think so, but we'll check into that. All right, I got one more item to open over there. So this item I thought would be fun to show you. This is for the Commodore. And it is right here. 
So this is my Supercard Pro. I'll tell you about this. This is by, should I say, famous Jim Drew, who invented a ton of copy protection programs for the Commodore 64. Well, this is for the Commodore 64, but it works with your PC. Let me run downstairs and show you. So anyway, this stopped working. Jim uh, said, told me to send it to him. He'll check it out. Uh, looks like uh, these two chips were blown, it sounds like. How'd that happen? I don't know. Let's run downstairs and I'll show you a little bit more about this. So here we're in the basement again. That's the Commodore 64 area here. Directly beside it is the PC I use for the Commodore. So to copy the floppy disk, I have the um, 1541 here. And that works with a Zoom floppy. I have it, I have it set up to use um, a parallel port. But to copy hard stuff, that's when you use the, the Supercard Pro. Now I have an original Supercard for the 1541, but this basically this plugs into your PC and then you use a ribbon cable to plug into this. Now this is uh, just a standard five inch PC drive. And a popper one is these Panasonic ones, the um, 475-345. And I have a couple of these. And then with that, you have the SuperCard software. And that software produces, here are some of my SuperCard images. Let's see, I have like 1,400 files here. Uh, it will take a floppy disk, one of these five inch floppy disks, and then create a two, two plus megabit image off of this disk. It's like a, a Anyways, I'll put the link to um, Jim's webpage. He is the master. I, he, and my Commodore 64 copy protection page right here. Check that out. Check this out. Jim's always been a lot of help for me. And um, I have information, more information here about the, uh, the super card right here. And plus Jim's website right here. So check all that out. Check all this out. And post your any questions below. I, maybe I, I'll make a video on this someday. I thought maybe I already did. But anyway, it's, it's used to copy, protected, or not protected. It can, you don't need this to copy. Um, this that don't have protection, you can just use a zoom floppy. But this will copy. Jim says this copies everything. So there you go. Thanks for watching.